Okay, I have a in scale Pennsylvania Railroad U25B locomotive, cab number 2616, with an ESU Lock Sound 5 Micro decoder hardwired into it. And I want to change the sound of the bell and sound of the horn. So I'm going to go to my look programmer on my laptop. I've already got it brought up cab number and first thing I want to do is go to the driver's cab and turn the driver's cab on I want to listen to the horn we had F2 Now I want to go to F1, listen to the bell. Now I want to change those. So I'm going to, first thing I want to do is go to information. It gives me the information on the download that I have. A little bit of history on the uh, Prime Mover and the uh, types of horns and bells that came with these locomotives. So I'm going to scroll down. Now, this shows me the uh, there's 12 different horns came with these different locomotives. Uh, CB163 sets that value 0 through 12. Scroll down a little bit more. Now the bells. CB value is 164. And it looks like there's four types of bells. Now I want to go back up to read and write CBs. First thing I want to do is, on this page, I want to type in 163 and hit write, or no, I want to hit read. I want to read the value, find out what type of horn is in this. So this is telling me value 4. So if I go back down to information... And I look here, CB163 value 4 is showing me that Leslie S5TR is written into the uh, decoder. I think I want to change that. I think that is a 5 chime horn, and this locomotive clearly has... A three chime horn. So come back over to the laptop here and I want to change. I think I want to go with a CB1 Leslie S3KR. So what I want to do is go back to read and write CBs change the value to 1 click on right <coughs> excuse me now go back up to the driver's cab turn that back on now I want to listen to what that horn sounds like I think I like that horn better. I think that fits 
this locomotive. Now I want to go back to read and write CVs. Now the information is reading CV value 164 for the bell. So I want to type in 164. Just change the 3 to 4. And read that CV. Gives me a value of 4. So I'll go back to information once again. The value of 4 is showing. Okay, it's a steel bell. 0, 2, 1. That's what's programmed into. Well, no, wait a minute. There's a 0, 1, 2, 3. That had a 4, didn't it? So I think I want to change that to a 1 also. Evidently, it must be more bells because uh, that value was a 4. And I only read 0 through 3, so I want to change that to a 1. So now I want to write that to the decoder. So once that's done, I'm going to go back to the driver's cab. Once again, hit go, turn that on, and listen to the bell. I think I like that bell, so I'm going to keep that on this locomotive. So once I get those values changed, done with the CVs, I'm going to come up here and hit file. I want to save this file to those settings that I've changed. Hit exit. And it's going to ask me, do I want to save the changes? I'm going to say yes. To so this file name. And it closes out. And that's it. Using my look programmer. Connected to the laptop. Power lights on. Then when it's doing data, the left light will flash and blink and whatever while it's doing its thing. I originally used a decoder tester to load the sound files into the uh, decoder. So that's how I change sound files and motor control using Lux Sound or Look Programmer. Open it back up. You'll have a window that comes up. What that is. Alright. Once you first do that, then you can hit read read decoder data and that gives me cab number 2616 which is what this locomotive is And go back to driver cab F8 to start it
two step one. Thanks for watching.